All right, so in comparing some of the weights, I've got this set to grams. Uh, wet fire cube doesn't even register. Uh, I've weighed these before, but we'll do it for this video. The Espitz cubes in its package is 13 grams. Small trioxane in its metal package is 17 grams. Now, I would say that the gel pack is more comparable to the large trioxane, especially if you're talking military fuels in this size. So, in its foil package is 32. And the gel pack, in its package, comes in at 39. 40. Well, 39. Uh, so, what we're going to do is uh, do a little test of burn times and see what we can do with boil. Alright, so in this test, I've decided to add in a liquid fuel. We're going to take this outside and try it, but I'm going to enter in the little canteen um, alcohol stove that I've been using for a long time. I believe it holds at least an ounce, if not a little bit more. Now, these gel packs are 1.25 ounces uh, mil spec packets, according to County Com, is where I got them. And uh, I'll put the link down below. They were out for a while, they're super popular, so I don't know how much longer they'll have this. And this is just a glycol um, mix, kind of like a jelly. And uh, I'll show that the best I can before I go outside in the dark and try it. And then we'll also burn off a large uh, trioxane to more accurately. Um, describe the test and I'm going to dump the gel right into the uh, Altoids container because essentially that's probably what I'll do in a camping scenario as well but we'll try out the large trioxane versus the 1.25 uh, gel and the uh, little over an ounce of just liquid denatured alcohol alright so what I did here put this on low is there's the large trioxane there is the wet fire cube espit cube small trioxane about one and a half i think uh ounces of denature al alcohol and the gel let's see if i didn't zoom in here for the gel i thought it would spread out and i'm sure it will when it gets hot that's sort of what it looks like big pile of white goo very similar to a lot of the fire starters that you can get at home um i believe hiram did some tests on there as well now, let's see if you can see that. Outside temperature is 49 degrees. Um, it rained earlier. Humidity's in the air. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to use actually a micro torch to start all these off about the same time. And uh, I'll bring you back. Alright, so you can see right away, trioxane just looks like it has a bigger flame right off the bat both the big and the small um, as soon as that priming tray dries up it'll just be the stove and the, uh, the gel isn't too bad but when you look at it like that the Espic cube over there is uh, working away and I don't know what happened to that wet fire um, it's already gone out so it burned really quick not sure why but um, I know some people have issues with the wet fire as they age and that may be one of them um, I know I've been leaning more towards trioxane oh, I'm out of fuel <laughs> put some more fuel in there alright well, four minutes in I relit the wet fire it's slowly going but I don't expect much out of it it seems to be going pretty quick and as expected at four minutes everyone's still going I'll show you the height that's the espit cube there two shorter blue ones are the flat uh, trioxane tabs there's the alcohol there's the gel alright look at the small trioxane it's about done it is six minutes and 20 seconds it still has a little plight to it but there's not much fire going large one still rolling Espis is still going 
alcohol and gel are battling it out. All right, large trioxane just about to peter out. We are at seven minutes and twenty-four seconds. Twenty-nine, and it is almost out of there. So we got a three-way race going on here. Espas tab, you know, says it'll go twelve minutes, thirteen minutes. I know my alcohol still usually peters out around eight. Because uh, you can see it's got the highest flame of them all. But we'll see how she goes. We'll keep... Alright, when you bring in, watch the alcohol one right there on the right. We're at 8 minutes and 45 seconds. And pretty much unusable flame really at this point. It'll, it'll stop here any second. Still got the Espis going. Not going strong, but still rolling around. And still have a good pile of the uh, the gel. I'm pretty pretty excited about that. All right, gel's still going. The Etzbis, it is 12 minutes 23 seconds, just under 13, and she's just about to poop out. Not much usable flame left on that little guy. All right, so what I've got here. I have spin around things. So two cups, digital thermometer. It is 63, 65 degrees water. Now this is two cups. A lot of guys will do one cup boiling times, but I use closer to two cups in a lot of my cooking. I even have a two cup mark um, scratched on the canteen cup. What I'm going to do is just do normal foil, like a lot of you guys do, uh, for a lid, and we'll get that set up. Alright, we are at 19 and a half minutes. And it's just starting to peter down, although still fairly usable fuel. But I'm going to call it at 20 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. You can stir it up and actually get a little bit more flame going. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I have a whole new pile. A whole new pile of the jelly. Now that I know it's a more uh, thicker, stable jelly, I've just got it on the priming pan I use for the uh, alcohol stove. And then uh, if I can hold this into the camera, we're going to take our two cups, 65 degree water. I'm going to place it over there. And I need to find my lighter. I decided instead of getting a lighter, I want to see if this will take a ferro spark. I also have a, a new cube of uh, wet fire here. Well, from the same stash anyway that I got the other one. And we'll see just as an experiment to see if that one was a fluke or if it, these are just too old. I'll put the flashlight down and uh, see if we can strike the gel. Okay, I think it's lit right there in the corner. Let me turn the flashlight off. It didn't light that easy with the mesh metal. This one was a little bit harder to aim. <laughs> Got a little gel on the knife. Works pretty well. Okay. We're going to put our water on. That other one is still going, but like I said, not usable flame, but we have... 42.55. I'm going to reset this. See how long. See if we can get a boil of two cups. Alright, not sure we can see this. Can't tell if that's steam or smoke. I've got a pretty tight 
wrap on there. There seems to be something coming off here. Well, in case you're wondering if that one was a fluke, it wasn't. Um, I'll probably going to take these back, and I, I honestly I don't really recommend wet fire anymore. Um, it's great when they're new, but uh, these are they can't be more than a year old. Even if they are, I don't recommend putting them in any of your kits. Uh, real disappointment, but I'm glad I did this test and brought them out here. And uh, especially for the price, you know that was kind of the biggest issue was the uh, was the price of them. But you know, darn it, if they work. I don't mind paying a buck a piece if it's really going to you know, perform out there, but if you're going to put this in a kit and go to a count on it, you know, next hunting season or when you're lost, I mean, you don't count on getting lost and needing to start a fire like before you leave. So this is stupid. Really disappointed. I'm going to contact the company, in fact. It burned out and it's just like a white, Let's see if it's still hot. Nope. I mean, just like a white powder. Um, they're granules for sure, but I can put them down to a powder. So, very cool. I like them so far. And uh, this is still emitting some sort of smoke or steam or something. Um, the reason I think it's smoke is it kind of smells <laughs> a little off. It might just be the rust on that priming pan. Um... I might have some olive oil on the bottom from last time I used this canteen cup or something. But, uh, tell you what, let's take the thermometer. Poke it right down the middle. See what it says. We're at a hundred and, well, fifteen, sixteen. 116 degrees right now. It is 5 minutes and 40 seconds into this. Pretty impressive. Well, at the last mark, we are at 5 minutes, 40 minutes, and it was just over 100, 105, which is warm enough for tea or coffee for sure. Uh, we are exactly 9 minutes right now, and we're at 145. All right, we are almost at the 12 minute mark. We're at 172. So it might be losing a little bit of steam, but uh, still rolling along. So as we're pushing 200 here, we're just at the 16 minute mark just before. It's still rolling strong. Uh, a lot of guys on some of the forums will do one cup evaluations I've always sort of doing a two cup boil time I think it's more realistic um, nothing really takes one cup <laughs> to cook um, some of the mountain house is one two cups so stuff like that I just think for an actual application out in the wilderness uh, two cups is more realistic when we're boiling this water uh, you know I don't if one tab only brings one cup to a boil that's only one cup that I can drink so I would rather much boil two cups and be closer to hydration you know it's interesting it sounds like it's boiling this only shows 206.5 so let me peel back the uh, little foil here there you go it's boiling away nicely uh, that is at 17 minutes a little over we pulled the lid off, and uh, we're pushing 18 minutes, 18 and a half. You can still see I've got a smaller pile, smaller flame profile on there. A few canteen cup gurus that say it should be backwards. I'm not going to do 100 different boil tests on here for you this time, but you can see it's maintaining a boil with the top off, colder than 50 degrees outside. Water starting, I believe, at 65 degrees, and uh, within the lifespan of the fuel tablet, gel in this case, you got two cups to come to a boil and maintain a boil. Pretty impressed. 
Alright, not quite a rolling boil. Still plenty hot though. Let me check the time. We're right at 22 on the nose. Put the flashlight down, you can see it's dying off. Uh, the flame's not reaching the, uh, the cup. It's just sort of puckering out there. But I would say for a 22 minute boil time, that's pretty impressive. Uh, let me pull this cup off and see if there's any soot. Alright, you can see the small little piddly flame. But clearly you don't need a big container. That little lid to the Altoids uh, worked just fine holding the gel and keeping it in, in there. And here's the bottom. This one hand here. There's just a slight white residue. Um, definitely not really any of that carbon scoring. It wipes right off. Interesting. I like it. I give it two thumbs up.